So which devices will be iOS 12 compatible? Let's find out in today's video. So what's going on guys? This is Apple Fox channel here and welcome to this quick video. And in this video, I want to talk about the devices like the iPhones, iPads and iPad touches that will be able to run the upcoming version of iOS, which will most likely be called iOS 12. Of course, keep in mind that at this point of time, we don't have any specific information about it. Like we don't have anything officially stated by Apple. So all of these are just rumors that are of course very likely to become reality, but it hasn't been confirmed. So all of this is just a speculation. In case you happen to be first time on my channel, you should definitely check out some of my other content and also definitely subscribe to it because you won't miss anything important when it will be released. One of the things you should also keep in mind is that the name iOS 12 is not really confirmed, so we just speculate that this is the name of the upcoming version of iOS, but it could be pretty much anything else, so any name possibly could be the name of the upcoming version of iOS. But right now, maybe you're thinking or maybe you're like wondering, like, how do I know all of this? Does this guy have any idea about it or what's going on? How can he tell us what's gonna happen if we don't know officially from Apple? And that is because I'm watching a pattern from Apple. Because in iOS 9, the oldest device that was supporting the iOS 9 was the iPhone 4S. And then the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, 6, 6 Plus and getting to the newest iPhone which was at that point of time the iPhone SE but of course the iPhone 6S was the flagship. And the next year when the iOS 10 got released because the iPhone 5 and 5C were pretty much all of the same devices, it was just different in a color, but those devices were not able to run such an operating system like iOS 11. So we definitely see a pattern. So every year one device or one iPhone gets dropped out. So we assume that with the iOS 12 it will be exactly like this. And the oldest device which should be dropped out is the iPhone 5S. So I suppose that the iPhone 5S will not be able to run the iOS 12 when it will be released and it will stay on the iOS 11. And that is basically the reason why I think that the iPhone 5S will not be supported because one device gets dropped out every single year and this time it is turned for the iPhone 5S. So the iPhone 5S will probably not be supported. iPhone 6 and 6 Plus should also be able to run the iOS 12 even though I'm not really sure, like 99% they should be able to get the iOS 12, but you know, it's not 100%. So keep in mind that the iPhone 6 should definitely be able to do it, but not 100%. But these were the iPhones, and what about the other devices like the iPads and of course iPod Touch? Because right now the only iPod Touch which is supporting the iOS 11 is the iPod Touch 6 generation. And I'm gonna tell you what I think is gonna happen this year. Well, I think that in the WWDC 2018, which will be held during the summer this year, we will also see the new iPod Touch 7th generation. Even though the WWDC is mostly for the software, but once in a while they also release some kind of hardware or some kind of device on this type of event, and this time I think it's gonna be the iPod Touch 7th generation and the iPod Touch 6 will probably be dropped out and will not support the iOS 12. So this is what I think will happen, but we will definitely have to wait for it and let's see what's gonna happen. And in terms of the iPads, the iPads that currently support the iOS 11 are the iPad Air, iPad Air 2, the 2017 iPad, the Mini 2, Mini 3 and Mini 4 and the iPad Pro. This thing that I'm holding in my hand is the iPad Mini 4. I think that the Mini 2 will definitely be dropped out. Mini 3 as well, because uh, the differences between those two devices are just really minor. I think the uh, Touch ID is the only difference, only main difference. And also the iPad Air first generation will be dropped out. And most likely this is the outcome that we expect to happen on WWDC 2017, which will be held in San Francisco this year in the summer. And this is the event that happens every single year. So in case you are wondering about the release date of the iOS 12, well, it will happen in September, like officially for everybody. But the first betas will be available to download for the developers and also for public beta testers in the summer. So I will definitely make a video about it when it will happen. So make sure to subscribe and not miss it. So this is everything what I wanted to say in this video. I want to say thank you very much for watching in the end. And if you want to stay updated with the whole iOS 12 thing and all of the rumors and all of that, then definitely click the red subscribe button and you will not miss a video when I post it. And there I will be talking about the rumors of the iOS 12 
So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and found some value in it and see you next time in the next video. And peace out.